With the upcoming release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, I thought it would be a good idea to look back at some of the older games. While everyone and their mother has heard of and no doubt played the atrocious Microsoft Flight Simulator X, I want to cover something in between X and the oldest of entries that LGR has covered. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. So, uh, now what? So today we're looking at Microsoft Flight Simulator 2002. Mostly because it was the only one I could get to work on Windows 10. Released back in the year 2001. Yeah, even simulation games were toying with the year label. Developed by Aces Game Studio and published by Microsoft Corporation. This entry was infamous for its bad performance, but in turn included new aircrafts, a flight instructor station, an editor to customize and make new buildings and aircraft to, or to alter the flight physics of existing planes. Yeah, like I said, customizing existing planes and flight physics, ain't it just grand? So yeah, the concept of Microsoft Flight Simulator is just to simulate flying. Choosing what plane you want, the airport, weather, time of day, season, and more. You can make the experience as realistic as you want or as arcadey as you want. There's a reason why I'm not a pilot. So once you pick your airplane, airport, and desired settings, it's time to disable the brakes, flip on your engine switch, and throttle up. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Okay, now what? Well, this is the entire game in a nutshell. The series was always like this, but the later entries did include improved graphics to make air travel less troll and drab. I mean, just look at the game. It's not that good looking, even for the time. Copy and pasted buildings all over the place. Locations like Chicago, New York, Tokyo, and Los Angeles all looking exactly the same. Terrain and airport runways blending into each other. No aircrafts being piloted by the AI either. Not to mention the LOD. Even with a modern system and maxed out settings, the game looks awful. Nani? What the hell is even that? I couldn't ever tell where I was or where I was going. The game is just too samey and washed out. I was bored playing this game, even more so than Flight Sim X. Not to mention the camera leaves a lot to be desired as it's just a mess and nauseating to deal with, constantly having to adjust it back to where I want as it spins all over the place. Oh man, I'm gonna be sick. Thankfully, once I figured out some of the camera control, it was less annoying, but still, 
it's not a good camera if I have to fight it all the time, like an er early 3D platformer. At times, I did enjoy the game. Some of the planes are fun to control, mostly the Beechcraft Baron 58. Or the Mooney. After about an hour, I decided I've had enough of the game and just wanted to not touch it again. It makes me want to actually go install Google Earth Pro and use its built in flight sim instead, which says a lot. Google Earth, coming soon to the PlayStation. Rated E. As for what aircrafts you can even fly, the game only comes with a tiny roster in comparison to Flight Sim X or even 2020's base version. But at least we have the likes of a single helicopter. We even have a glider. Um... Okay, um... I, I don't think I set this up quite right. You can't, uh, sure you can. Let's just move on to the other aircrafts. A World War One plane. We have a World War Two plane as well. There's a lot more single propeller planes and dual propeller planes in comparison to the likes of jets, which I guess makes sense for the time, but still, the list does leave a lot to be desired. Of course, this just means if you can even find some, just look up some custom made content by the community for tons more goodies. As for what's on offer, it's okay. Funny enough, we have a Boeing here, and well, it's a Boeing alright. Well, that's about all I can say regarding this game. It's ugly, it performs well on a modern computer, and it's lackluster in terms of content. But hey, it's from 2001 after all. You can't always expect great things from 2001, right? I mean, it was 2001. Oh. Never mind. Hmm. At the end of the day, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2002 is a pretty mediocre game. Maybe it was great back then, but by today's standards, this is truly an awful looking and lackluster experience. With Flight Simulator 2020 out there, heck, even the upcoming improved Flight Sim 24, there's not much reason to go back and experience older Flight Sim games. It's not getting in there in like a yaw. Know, huh? All the locations are the same with nothing standing out, the grey and brown graphics and textures blending in together, making it hard to see things and decipher what they are, the controls leave a lot to be desired, heck the small number of aircrafts doesn't help too. But you know what? It's playable. And that's all that matters. It's simple fun if you can look past its many faults, it can be even played with ease on Windows 10 computers, thanks to my abandonware for hosting the compatible copy. Anyways, that's it for this video. See you all later. Hopefully with the new Flight Sim 24 review by this winter. <laughs>